What My Mother Doesn't Know by Sonia Sonis. How it happened. After Zach's party, Rachel's big sister came to drive a bunch of us home with her friend and her friend's younger brother. I was the last one to get in the car and it turned out all the other laps were taken. So I had to sit on Rachel's sister's friend's brother's lap. It was Dylan's lap. And even though he goes to my school, I'd never seen him before. And he had such dark, smoldery eyes that I felt like I'd been zapped smack into the middle of some R-rated movie. And everyone else in the car was just going to fade away. And this guy and I were going to start making out right then and there without ever having said a word to each other. But what really happened was that he blushed and said, hi, I'm Dylan. And I blushed back and said, I'm Sophie. And he said, nice name. And I said, thanks. After that, we didn't say anything else, but our bodies seemed to be carrying on a conversation of their own, leaning together into every curve of the road, sharing skin secrets. And just before we got to my house, I thought I felt him give my waist an almost squeeze. Then the car rolled to a stop and I climbed out with my whole body buzzing. I said goodnight, headed up the front walk, and when I heard the car pulling away, I looked back over my shoulder and saw Dylan looking over his shoulder at me. When our eyes connected, this miracle smile lit up his face and I practically had a religious experience. Then I went upstairs to bed and tried to fall asleep, but I felt permanently wide awake and I kept on seeing that smile of his and feeling that almost squeeze.